Hello everybody, it's Gravity the Ghost here for uh we got uh, an Animal Crossing direct here and we're gonna be watching it. Now um It's funny because I wouldn't consider myself a big Animal Crossing fan. I've only played one game being New Leaf. I mean, don't get me wrong, I really like New Leaf, it was really fun. Um, but I don't know. <laughs> the way I feel about this new Animal Crossing game is very weird, like don't get me wrong, I was like, not, as long as I'm not interested in it, don't, don't get that idea. I'm interested in it. It's just that it's nothing that I'm, like, clamoring for. It's like, eh, I could go another couple months without this game. Uh, <laughs> I'm not as, like, I'm not as excited for it as I am for, like, Rescue Team DX or something. Um, but either way, I'm happy to be here. Um, I'm actually awake before the Direct starts, <laughs> unlike the Pokemon Direct, where... I was freaking late, and I had to watch it after, so I actually woke up in time. Come on, Nintendo, can you stop doing 9 a.m. directs? At least do 12 p.m. or something. But, I don't really have any predictions for this, um, because I am not a huge Animal Crossing fan. Oh, hello! Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, look, it's Tom Nook! Give him your money! <laughs> Information session. Deep dive into deserted island life. What, are you gonna dive underwater? <laughs> Divide into separate parts. Part one is a refresher on the getaway package, a reminder of what we shared. <laughs> part two will confirm future development plans. Part three, frequently asked questions. Oh, you know what that means. <laughs> Alright, we're starting part one. Okay. Thank you for choosing the Nook And it's lagging. Deserted Island Getaway Package. This is one trip that we here at Nook Inc. can recommend with confidence. Your destination is a peaceful island where it's the little things that count. Like mingling with neighbors. Looks very good, I'll say that. And simply enjoying life. Since we're nearing departure, it's high time we detail the many features and perks included in the getaway package. <laughs> Nook Inc. presents. <laughs> Deep dive into deserted island life. Alright. Upon arrival at the local airport, you'll be met with a deserted island positively teeming with nature's bounty. What is that, Dodo Airlines? The Dodos can't fly! When applying for the getaway package, you can choose the island you wish to move to from a wide range of options. Alright, so you can choose the island. Would yeah. Would you like to live in the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere? Don't worry, no matter which you choose, you'll experience all that the four seasons have to offer right from your island. Yeah, that's the one change they mentioned at E3. Is scheduled for March 20th. That's when the Northern Hemisphere will just be warming up for spring. You won't have to wait long for the cherry blossoms to be in full bloom. Ew. Summertime brings its own share of delights. You'll see a Is that a flamingo? <laughs> Of bugs. Oh yeah, bug catching. I remember it was like Tortimer's Island or something where there were like a whole bunch of like uh all those rare bugs that you could sell for a bunch of money. <laughs> oh, look at winter. Looks nice. You can make a snowman. Oh, they got the aurora, <laughs> aurora borealis. When the seasons change, aurora borealis. But the simple joys of nature are just one reason that the island. Oh, what is that? Oh, that was a mushroom. That big old mushroom. Don't touch it, you're gonna die. Not long after your arrival, you and your fellow residents. I want to see if I'm see if I find end up finding any of my favorite villagers. I mean, there's a couple that I saw that were already confirmed. 
interested in your getaway package. Oh, look at this guy. This guy looking derpy. <laughs> Hi, set up my tent. <laughs> Was that uh, uh, the cherry? Yeah, cherry. Oh, you get to choose where they live too? Wow. Okay, so you get to choose everything. <laughs> You're still getting a package deal. On the island, we've included two facilities to make your life there more comfortable. Oh, sorry, I'm so tired. This plaza to access resident services. Okay. Which is here to support all of your daily needs. It's open 24 hours a day, providing residents with services. But don't they sleep? Sale of everyday goods. The purchase of unwanted items and helpful advice about living on a deserted island. And by attending our free DIY workshops, you'll learn how to craft a variety of items. The DIY workshop. First, just learn the DIY recipe. Huh, okay. <laughs> Oh, you can make a DIY workshop to uh, and just make your own and make your own stuff without going there. I dig it. Oh yeah, make your own cat like make your own like campfire area. That'd be cool. Nani? Ooh! 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 This look, that looks pretty cool. Ah! Uh, then we gotta draw it on a touch screen, probably, right? Airport. It's also available for use year round, 24 hours a day, beginning the day after your arrival. At the airport, Orville. you can use the internet or local wireless to invite residents of other islands to yours. Meyer from Acorn is here. <laughs> that's a that's a dumb island name. So you can send messages to other people. That's cool. Eh, no. <laughs> send this card to Tammy. Oh. Will this be your first time living somewhere so remote? On a deserted island, no less? Maybe. Here are three big ways we plan to support you in acquainting yourself with your new surroundings. Okay, special services. You're starting a new life. So in addition to your tent, Nook Inc. will provide some basic necessities, as well as services. No need to worry. Was that a radio and a, a lamp? A light lamp. <laughs> I can't speak. Obvious, the, true state the official of Nook phone TV. trademark. Nook phone. <laughs> it has the standard apps, like a camera and map. But over time, we will provide new applications to support all your deserted island needs. Good. More apps. <laughs> we also have the Nintendo Switch Online app. Our CEO, Mr. Nook, will make an island-wide broadcast to all residents. Tom Nook has become the ultimate overlord. On important island events, deserted island life advice, and more. Are you supposed to give like a, a broadcast, like a live stream? <laughs> Yeah, Nook Miles. When you're looking to participate in some activities, and you're in need of some recommendations. You've got the bug. And as you have these experiences, you'll build 
I'm sorry to say, but I think you've got the bug. <laughs> the miles you save up can be used to pay well, you're 5,000 miles. Package, and they can eventually be exchanged for in-game rewards at the Nook Stop Terminal in Residence Services. You can't get it for money. This is Tom Nook we're talking about. ...from in-game Nook Inc. merchandise to helpful items that can enrich your time on the island. Ah, so you got like a little tool, a little wheel. <laughs> a fan? Really? <laughs> a fan? take this opportunity to talk about some possible hitches you might encounter and their solutions this is one nature rich island it's possible that you could encounter dangerous insects such as wasps and scorpions Ooh, a scorpion <laughs> gets done you may end up somewhat irritated <laughs> he died he freaking died run my boy Well, like, oh, this man dead. <laughs> oh, they got a little uh, mushroom lights. I like that. Please be careful. Deserted island is surrounded by the sea, which means you may come across a castaway from time to time. Uh, Gulliver, right? That's his name, right? First, Gulliver. Give them a holly to make sure they're doing okay. Then keep them company until they wake up. Think off of all. That's my uh, that's my animalese impression. Ninten. Ninten. <laughs> Please stop. In situations like these, it's best not to panic. Instead, simply use the rescue service. Rescue service? You'll be transported somewhere cozier in no time. Rangers, go! I didn't, wasn't paying attention to what happened for that. I'll just go back when the direct's over. <laughs> but if you want your in-game life to be even Optional better, extras included. We will offer a number of optional extras. Does the environment seem a bit rough? Do you need a little more space for all your stuff? If you said yes to either of these questions, then we have an option for you. Building a house. Ooh. No interest. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> you can play it back at your own pace. A house offers so much more space than the tent you'll start with, and also has its own storage spaces capable of holding any furniture and baggage you're not displaying. That way, everything is nice and tidy. Oh. So you like you just have your own in like in-house storage? Oh, that's great. Kind of like, uh, isn't that like how Happy Home Designer was working? Either way, it's pretty good. I dig. But what if it could be bigger? So, uh, please give me all of your money. Thanks. <laughs> your Nook Miles can be exchanged for in-game rewards, including Nook Miles tickets. Is Tom Nook drinking Gatorade? <laughs> distant islands. Distant islands. This course differs each time, and depends on how the pilot is feeling. Well, <laughs> Depending on how the pilot's feeling. So, if, what if he's angry, like pissed off? And he sends you 
like to a dead end or like an island with deadly animals. Could you like take them home with you? Oh, oh, they got the money rocks. Is that a spider? <laughs> the spider dropped in the water. Oh no, he's dead. That'd be pretty crowded if you ask me. Leo, mom, and dad. Allowing up to four residents to enjoy exploring the island together at the same time. Okay, it's 9.14. We got 10 minutes around left. the others for followers. They can follow the leader around. That way, everyone can spend time together. Yeah, no straying off the area, man. Crawfish. Store items in a recycle box. Hey, I knew it. <laughs> Let me guess. You can like buy stuff offline and like maybe maybe make your own uh, make your own patterns. Oh, you can use QR codes on your actual phone for that. That's that's a good way of solving the QR code issue. Now give us Tomodachi Life too. <laughs> Wait, you can take the ones from New Leaf. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Oh, that's a that's a good call. Oh, you can, you can chat with people, but only with Animal Crossing. Now, give us the option to chat from the app, you know, like in general. <laughs> It'd be like that. Wait, then, now that you've seen part one. Oh, that was part one? Well, shoot. <laughs> I thought there was part two and part one. Okay, part two time. I was like, oh, guess we're done here. Where's part three? Nope, this is part two. With the getaway package, you'll really get that deserted island bang for your buck, especially with only a couple of neighbors for company at the start. But our hope is to eventually invite more residents and develop the island into a bustling community. Been advertising the Ninten getaway package. We have three interested parties. Let me guess, you get to choose? Oh, so I picked in advance. Do you maybe get to choose from the three options that the three ones that are interested? That would be nice. Nook's Cranny. Abel Sisters, was that Kicks? No. Museum, yes, yes. We're going to have the uh, fortune cookies back to get the Nintendo items. Oh, a campsite. Oh, for oh, for people that animals that don't want to visit. <clears throat> Wasn't uh, the one guy from Welcome Amiibo like on the box art for this game? Like, what was his name? Harvey? <laughs> Steve Harvey? You should live here. Seriously? 
Services Center is only a simple tent now, but we plan to eventually expand this tent into a proper building. We will also continue to expand our housing business, which is one of the main departments of Nook Inc. We can and will offer to expand or remodel your house. Nice, nice. Moving services to your house or local facilities. Could you do that for the other villagers too, or no? Probably not. Also, since they all have their favorite colors, probably. Hey, it's Isabel. <coughs> for remodeling, we'll lean on staff experience in providing operational support. That way, we can offer the utmost in services and advice regarding the overall environment. Ah, that she's there for customization and like changing, probably like changing the town tune and well, the island tune, I guess. <laughs> Lavelle. Fashion designer. Harvey. In these cultural exchanges, we can show visitors what makes our island Celeste. special while simultaneously learning about customs we aren't familiar with. <laughs> You're using a magic wand. Bruh. <laughs> Sahara. Daisy May. She kicks. Oh, it's like he sells his wares <laughs> while he's on vacation. CJ and bug offs at the plaza Flick. Oh yeah, this guy looks cool. I would want him to live on my island, but free updates. We hope you'll continue to enjoy our services. We're sure you'll agree that starting over on a deserted island is already an attractive proposition. But here at Nook Inc., we really want our residents to create a one-of-a-kind island that they're proud to call their home. Look at that. Look at that. Look at her dancing. Oh, you can make la ladders. Ah! We're able to offer you a range of Bruh. <laughs> These include ways to help you okay, you can make bridges, from point a ramps. By building bridges and slopes, you'll Good. be able to comfortably walk around the island without relying on handmade tools. Like walking poles and ladders. I dig. I very much dig. And once the island is fully decked out, we will provide you with a permit. A permit. The island designer app. You can use it to freely pave your own paths. Oh, you can make paths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In addition, we can also provide you with a permit that allows you to undergo major construction on the terrain itself. Nani? Rivers and You're... cliffs. What? What? You want my? Oh, ha, 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 Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, that's going to be, oh, ho, ho. oh, oh, you've seen today, the deserted island getaway package offers you a oh, they got the same Lenny face. I love it. Just as its name suggests, or you can lead a comfortable life in a perfectly planned community. Oh, look at that place. It'd be cool if, like, you could make your own, like, buildings that, no, like, people don't live in, just like a building you can visit, like a restaurant or something. That'd be cool. But I don't know. <laughs> Bird eye. The deserted island getaway package presented by Nook Inc. Big old fish. Departure is on track for March 20th of 2020. We're looking forward to meeting you all on the island. So what are the frequently asked questions? Where's my cloud saves? <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you all for your uninvited attention. <laughs> oh man. Others still might be thinking it over. You can basically make decide how big your island is now. You can make your island just the bigger it is. Biggest it is. Almost said bigot. I'm like, whoops. 
Okay, an FAQ statement. Gotcha, gotcha. Can I play the game together with my family on a single Nintendo Switch system? No. <laughs> with one Nintendo Switch system in the game, up to eight people in your family can live on one shared island. The maximum number of residents for an island is eight. Each user can register one resident. And each resident can, of course, build their own house. Does the game support Amiibo? Well, we got them Amiibo cards. The game supports <coughs> Amiibo figures and Amiibo cards from the Animal Crossing series. That's Bunny's Amiibo. Yeah, they appear in the campgrounds. You can also invite these familiar faces from Photopia. Photopia? What? You can just, it's like, you can just a photo editor where you can just have character models? That's... We plan to support additional characters in the future. DJ KK. Do you have any more information about visiting friends? While visiting other islands online, you can communicate with friends or players not registered as friends using temporary passwords. These Dodo code. Trademark. <laughs> In order to protect the environment of your island, some tools like axes and shovels are forbidden in visits to friends. However, friends who are registered as best friends can use these tools. It's no problem. Please use this feature when interacting with your closest friends. What if I lose my save data? You're done! It's that that's it! <laughs> New Horizons does not support the save data cloud feature. However, we're planning to offer a service for recovering backed up save data from the server in certain circumstances, such as console damage or loss. Will there be a special theme system to go along with the game? Maybe. Yes, a special edition Animal Crossing theme system will be released on March 13th, a week before the game launches. A separate map and carrying case will be available the same day. Nook Inc. supervised the console design for your playing pleasure. Oh, well, I'll be honest, that switch looked cool. After launch? No. Yes. <laughs> we will offer free will there be downloadable content? Yes. <laughs> Will there be microtransactions in this game? The first free update will be on launch day, March 20th. By installing this update, you can celebrate Bunny Day with a special event in April. Also, we're planning to roll out a special offer for both Animal Crossing Pocket Camp and Animal Crossing New Horizons, through which players can receive special items in each. will be announced at a later date from the official Animal Crossing Pocket Camp Twitter account, so stay tuned. Cool. That's it. Alright. After this presentation, we're announcing that I'm joining Smash! <laughs> yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Why is he clapping with one hand? Available March 20th of 2020. And that's it. That's cool. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> so. I dig this direct. I like it. I'm definitely uh, going to probably be buying the game. <laughs> Um, I, obviously, I, w I didn't have any expectations, because obviously I'm not a big Animal Crossing fan. I've only played one game, like I said before. But I do like what they have here, and I like how you can expand your island literally just, like, you know, th those previous, like, areas that you obviously couldn't reach. Now you can just, you can just do whatever the heck you want. <laughs> I like that, and from what it looks like, the islands are much bigger than they used to be in New Leaf. Um, but yeah. I really enjoyed this direct. It was pretty cool. Um, so, thank you guys for watching. Uh, 
hopefully you guys are interested in Animal Crossing New Horizons as well. It's a really fun game. Well, from what it, from what it looks like, I mean. <laughs> but anyways, this has been Gravity, and I'll see you guys in a future video. See ya!